Hello, this is Keith Thaw, and today's tutorial will be on how we could use CSS and HTML uh, for uh, a side navigation buttons that once we hover over it, they will pop over to the right. So I'm going to show you um, how it works. Right now I'm hovering over the top each one. As you can see, each one is popping over. So basically, what I'm going to show you now is the HTML file. I included the CSS in there already, so let's go down to the HTML section. So basically, uh, the uh, side nav is going to be one div, as you can see right here. And I gave it a class, uh, well not a, not a class, but an ID of my SAD my side nav and that's going to be referenced in our uh, style sheet which is an inline style sheet and right here I gave each one of these um, hyperlinks an, an ID each one and again I'm going to reference that in the CSS and the body of it that uh, appears to the right of the nav is right here um, I gave it um, a class of container, and I have an H2 tag and a, a paragraph tag. So let's go, go back to the browser. Right here is our uh, class container, and these are the, uh, right here to the left is a side nav uh, bar. So let's go over to the HTML file scroll up here so basically my side nav uh, I gave it an ID of my side nav and I'm styling the uh, uh, the anchor tags associated with it so I gave it a position of absolute let's uh, get rid of that and basically what I'm doing initially is I'm setting the left margin over 100 pixels so that's why you only have a, uh, a certain part of those buttons showing on the left hand side and I'm giving it a padding of 15 pixels so that's why there's a space between each uh, hyperlink or each button basically and I'm giving it a width of 100 pixels so in other words when I uh, hover over each one uh, it'll pop out to the right and the width of it will be 100 pixels and of course as you uh, may know the text declaration of these anchor tags I'm giving it a, a value of none basically I'm removing the hyperlink underneath each anchor and the font size I'm just giving the text size of 20 pixels the text color of white and this border radius, as you can see, the top right corner of the anchor uh, is going to be 15 pixels rounded. And the bottom right will be 5 pixels. And the, uh, uh, the left uh, bottom, left, um, left top and left bottom are going to be 0 pixels. So basically, when I hover over each one of them, this is what's happening right here. Um, I'm giving uh, the, the left margin of zero. So in other words, it's taking a position of absolute. We're going to draw that um, uh, uh, nav bar starting at zero, basically zero. So that's why it pops over to the right. Um, so that's what that is doing and now I'm styling each one of these IDs right here by doing by doing all this so basically what I'm doing is I'm styling the about one the top uh, value is going to be 20 pixels so in other words wherever its parent is uh, um, I'm, I'm gonna start drawing this uh, um, this button 20 pixels down from the top and I'm doing that for the next one I'm drawing the next one down 80 pixels from the top 
and I'm of course I'm giving it a different background color for each one and as you can see for the last two I'm doing the same thing uh, the third one I'm drawing uh, the third button starting uh, from uh, 140 pixels down from the top and this last one is going to start 200 pixels down from the top. So basically that's how this um, uh, little tutorial works. Um, there's a lot of useful applications for this in your web pages so I hope that uh, this short little tutorial taught you a little bit something about uh, positioning and um, uh, and how you could uh, style your buttons so they're hidden for a second and then uh, once the user hovers over it they pop out for them and um, again I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you today I'll look for more tutorials on HTML and CSS and of course JavaScript in the future uh, please like uh, this uh, this video and subscribe to my channel uh, uh, and hit the bell notification so whenever I upload a new video you'll be notified um, I spend a lot of time learning HTML and CSS and applying these techniques uh, in, in my business so I am glad that um, you guys are coming here to watch these videos because I want to teach you, um, uh, give you guys a, a source of, of uh, so you could learn to and apply it into your own uh, business or your own job if that's what you do for a living. Again, thank you for stopping by and have a great day.